Hello, everybody. Um, we'll continue our coverage. This is pretty much documenting the, the whole track and all that information, what I'm doing. Thanks for stopping in. Working on, um, we had some trouble with radio earlier. Thank you for joining. Um, we're going to bring up the lap and show you the damage. Not the damage, but the... Of course, everything that's blue, this whole state of Florida has power outages now. Um, we got reports all over the place with the power outages, so um, not looking good. Um, we had reports that people were trapped um, evacuating on the bridge. Um, Yeah, uh, this is heartbreaking, you know. Um, it's been a very stressful day. Um, if you have loved ones that it was um, expected to you know, evacuate out of the floor, please call and check up on them. And um, like I mentioned earlier, we have um, a whole bunch of them stuck on the bridge. Um, trying to evacuate, it's like, like bumping, you know, it's not looking really good, good guys. Okay, um, just switch over back to main radar. Okay, so we're going to get, uh, please scan it working again. Um, not, not much to go on, a lot of a lot of power outages, so a lot of the transmitters and towers is done. Um, we got a Pixie Coke County Fire Rescue Dispatch. I think that's what it is. Pasco. We're going to let that run up a little while so you can do it on that frequency. Um, that's where the service, uh, when we just put the grid the uh, this is scanner, uh, the WX scanner, so we can find a frequency for Florida again. Yeah, the, the breaking news, like breaking news, we got uh, people trying to evacuate stuff on the bridge. Um, income, uh, pretty much, um, evacuating that Florida today, tonight, so. Wasn't looking good, the news was what I saw earlier. Um, Well, while we're waiting, we can put on uh, NPR News, if you all for that, and see if we can bring that up with us. Um, I got a few people over here. Give one minute or two. Um, NPR News. Thank, Thank you for joining us. I'll set that prayer out for the victims, you know. Um, yeah, this is pretty big, you know, big changing both storms. Always taking the lead. Um, the big report, uh, we already got death. Uh, big report's coming out, so. We're not, not sure, sure what the total is yet, but it's not looking good. Let's look at this. Um, I'll put it up now. Let's see if we try to do that. One minute, one minute at least.
Mothers know all about life's tricky transitions. No. Thankfully, all. No, 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 no. Really not there. Uh, the other the words. Most of them server um, base. 
with the magic stuff of dice. Ready to go. Collect some data on the map and then use the collect the data to get the picture scene. Some of my apps is not working. Um, that I don't want to use.
Yeah, yeah, that's some communication. Yeah. There's national weather radar. Not a big deal. Not like we, we would need it during a hurricane. <laughs> anyway, Robert, I'm going to turn in, see if I can get a couple of Z's, and hopefully I hear something if it starts going sideways. But uh, I'm going to try to preserve some of this battery power until tomorrow, and then charge everything up. So I'll check in in the morning. Good night. I hope everything stays safe over there. And yeah, we got a radio science. Um, yeah, we got a radio I'm trying to bring up the radio frequencies um, back there. They're not going to back there, I don't think. Uh, probably the radio.
And thus, sees one foot or less, isolated showers and thunderstorms, winds and seas high.
flood warning remains in effect until further notice. What? Minor flooding is occurring and moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at ASR 72. When? Until further notice. Impacts? At 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details? At 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 13 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Recent activity, the maximum reverse stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday was 13 feet. W vientos 20 a 25 nudos, disminuyendo a 15 a 20 nudos después de medianoche. Turbulentas. Free, NW vientos 15 a 20 nudos, tornándose en 10 a 15 nudos en la tarde. Picadas. Free en la noche, N vientos 10 a 15 nudos. Moderadamente picadas. Sábado, N vientos 10 a 15 nudos. Moderadamente picadas. Sábado en la noche, ne viento 5 a 10 nudos. Levemente picadas. Sol, e viento 5 a 10 nudos. Levemente picadas. Probabilidad de chubascos y tormentas eléctricas en la tarde. Sol en la noche, e viento 5 a 10 nudos. Levemente picadas. Probabilidad de chubascos y tormentas eléctricas. seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Kapchiva was not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 10.48 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, over 0300 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located in with near latitude 27.6 north, latitude 82.0 west. About 66 miles, 107 kilometers north of Fort Myers, Florida. About 36 miles, 59 kilometers southeast of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the east-northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour, and this general motion is expected to continue through Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east. On late Thursday, on the forecast track, the center of Milton will continue to move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday.
maximum sustained winds are near 105 miles an hour, 165 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is forecast to maintain hurricane intensity while crossing Florida overnight. After moving into the Atlantic, Milton is expected to gradually lose tropical characteristics and slowly weaken. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 255 miles 405 kilometer. A sustained wind of 92 miles an hour 148 kilometers per hour and a gust of 107 miles an hour 172 kilometers per hour was recently reported at a Sentinel weather flow station in Venice. A sustained wind of 58 miles an hour 93 kilometers per hour and a gust of 82 miles an hour 131 kilometers per hour was recently reported at Tampa International Airport. A gust of 94 miles an hour 152 kilometers per hour was recently reported at a Citizen Weather Observer Program station in Bardo. A sustained wind of 52 miles an hour 84 kilometers per hour and a gust of 77 miles an hour 124 kilometers per hour was recently reported at Windsor Haven Regional Airport. The estimated minimum central pressure is 960 millibars 28.35 inches. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 11.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. High rip current risk in effect through Friday morning. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight, tropical storm conditions. Southwest winds 40 to 50 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms. A chance of showers, mainly in the morning. Humid. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 70s. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, becoming north 15 to 20 miles an hour after midnight. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the lower 70s. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Columbus Day, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 30%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 30%. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Waves 3 to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers, mainly this evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 50 knots. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough.
scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the afternoon. Thursday night, northwest winds 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots after midnight. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Monday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and end their thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 50 to 60 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 13 seconds and west 4 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Wave detail, west 12 feet at 9 seconds and northwest 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Numerous showers with isolated thunderstorms early in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms in the late morning and early afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 9 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and northwest 5 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 50 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Wave detail, north 3 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Bay and inland waters light chop. Monday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher and end their thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions. 
Southwest wind 65 to 85 knots with gusts up to 105 knots. Becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Sea is 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 12 seconds and east 3 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Wave detail, northwest 13 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers early in the morning, then isolated showers in the late morning and afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 9 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet, subsiding to 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 11 feet at 9 seconds and southwest 1 foot at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet, occasionally to 10 feet. Wave detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds and north 7 feet at 7 seconds. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, north 5 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Isolated showers and thunderstorms late. Sunday night, east winds around 10 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Monday, east winds around 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday evening. The flood watch continues for portions of southwest Florida and west central Florida, including the following areas in southwest Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Lee, inland Charlotte, and inland Lee. In west central Florida, coastal Citrus, coastal Hernando, coastal Hillsboro, coastal Levy, coastal Manatee, coastal Pasco, coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, Highlands, inland Citrus, inland Hernando, inland Hillsboro, inland Levy, inland Manatee, inland Pasco, inland Sarasota, Pinellas, Polk, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers, in Lee County, and serves southwest Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, Soto, Glades, Henry, and Collier Counties. The current time is 11.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Levy, D.E. Soto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast. At Fort Myers Beach, high tide Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast. At Punta Gorda, high tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. 
Load time Thursday at 4.51 p.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Coastal Pasco, Coastal Sarasota, Inland Lee and Pinellas. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following county. Coastal Collier, Florida. A tropical storm warning remains in effect for the following county. Inland Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Glades and Henry. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. What? Minor flooding is occurring and moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at ASR 72. When? Until further notice. Impacts? At 15 feet, Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road 72. Additional details, at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 13 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Recent activity, the maximum reverse stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday was 13 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 15 feet Friday evening. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. What, minor flooding is occurring and moderate flooding is forecast. Where, Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When, until further notice. Impacts, at 15.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional details, at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 12 feet. The bankful stage is 10 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday was 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to 15.3 feet early Monday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.3 feet on September 1, 1939. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash, safety slash, flood. These are the 11 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. The report from Fort Myers page field was not available. At Southwest International, it was cloudy. The temperature was 69 degrees, the dew point 69, and the relative humidity 100%. The pressure was 29.37 inches in rising. At Punta Gorda, light rain was falling. The temperature was 78 degrees, the dew point 71, and the relative humidity 79%. The wind was west at 48 miles an hour, gusting to 71. The pressure was 29.16 inches and rising. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 82 at West Palm Beach, 81 at Miami, and 82 at Key West. At Tampa International, rain was falling. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport and Sarasota Bradenton Airport, the weather conditions were not available. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At 100 miles west of Bayport, winds were north at 27 knots. Air temperature 76 degrees. Wave height 14 feet. Wave period 9 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Captiva was not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 10.48 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 0300 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located in the near latitude 27.6 north, latitude 82.0 west, about 66 miles, 107 kilometers north of Fort Myers, Florida, about 36 miles, 59 kilometers southeast of Tampa, Florida.
Milton is moving toward the east and northeast near 16 miles an hour, 26 kilometers per hour. And this general motion is expected to continue through Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east on late Thursday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will continue to move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 105 miles an hour, 165 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is forecast to maintain hurricane intensity while crossing Florida overnight. After moving into the Atlantic, Milton is expected to gradually lose tropical characteristics and slowly weaken. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 255 miles 405 kilometer. A sustained wind of 92 miles an hour 148 kilometers per hour and a gust of 107 miles an hour 172 kilometers per hour was recently reported at AF Sentinel Weather Flow Station in Venice. A sustained wind of 58 miles an hour 93 kilometers per hour and a gust of 82 miles an hour 131 kilometers per hour was recently reported at Tampa International Airport. A gust of 94 miles an hour 152 kilometers per hour was recently reported at a Citizen Weather Observer Program station in Bardo. A sustained wind of 52 miles an hour 84 kilometers per hour and a gust of 77 miles an hour 124 kilometers per hour was recently reported at Winter Haven Regional Airport. The estimated minimum central pressure is 960 millibars 28.35 inches. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 11.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. High rip current risk in effect through Friday morning. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Rest of tonight. Tropical storm conditions. Southwest winds 40 to 50 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Thursday. Tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A slight chance of thunderstorms. A chance of showers, mainly in the morning. Humid. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 45 miles an hour. Chance of rain 30%. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the mid 70s. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour, becoming north 15 to 20 miles an hour after midnight. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the lower 70s. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Columbus Day, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 30%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 30%. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location 